Okay, this is a piece that I wanted to tell you about. This is my first, I guess, artist voice behind the piece uh, segment that I'm going to start doing. So this one is titled uh, Grandfather's Story. It was, uh, the courage has come to me from a number of different venues, but uh, most recently the uh, a new magazine called the Salidoscope, which is a zine here in Salida, put this the black and white of this picture into the first edition of this. So come to Salida and see what the zine is and see what the scene is. But this picture, this painting I did, it came to be called Grandfather's uh, Grandfather's Story because the painting in the zine uh, represented the image I had in my mind and that the words that they put on it, uh, that she put with it, was a story that I know very well, uh, an old Cherokee proverb, if you will, that has been referred to as two wolves, I guess. So uh, I want to read that to you and then talk a little bit about the painting. One evening, an elderly Cherokee brave told his grandson about a battle that goes on inside of people. He said, my son, the battle is between two wolves inside us all. One is evil. It is anger, envy, jealousy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, lies, false pride, superiority, and ego. The other is good. It's joy, peace, love, hope, serenity, humility, kindness, benevolence, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, and faith. Grandson thought about it for a minute and then asked his grandfather, which wolf wins? The old Cherokee simply replied, the one that you feed. What is your truth? So that uh, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of philosophy behind that truth there, but uh, this painting here, what I see and kind of the Im impression I had in my mind as I was painting it is, um, you know, I, on the top I see a profile of a, a maybe say grandfather, and he's looking out to the west, looking into the future, if you will, and um, getting inspiration from his history, his past. It almost looks like a headdress. My grandfather was Cherokee, and it almost looks like a headdress, but that guidance is coming down from above and in front of him and from behind. And he, he's shedding that grace down to his grandson who's below. And, and his grandson, you see some like maybe sweat coming off his brow and tears coming from his face. And, and he's striped and scarred with the, the, the newer knowledge, I guess, he's received. that and He's wearing a headband across his head of a, an American flag that's even upside down the side of a a sign of a, a land in, in trial, which is what America is in. And he's he's struggling, and he's getting that guidance from grandfather above and uh, reflecting upon himself. So I hope you enjoy. Peace and love.